Respect is a cloudy concept for a lot of players in games, especially ARK. What is respect in the context of ARK PvP? It is, rather than assuming your opponent is bad, you play as if they will make all of the correct choices. This is a habit you should build, as it will greatly reduce how much you die in PvP. The main reason people ignore the concept of respect in PvP is because it sometimes results in losing a kill you could have gotten if you were playing in a way that would be disrespectful of the enemy. For example, if somebody is playing on a Bloodstalker and they are bad at the game, you could make that assumption and dive in on them when they're in an optimal position to pick you. They could have well been very good at the game and instantly killed you, but because you assumed that they were bad at the game, you got the kill, but that does not mean that you made the right choice. This is the reality of proper decision making in any game, and in ARK 2. Playing correctly and making optimal choices does not always provide the optimal outcome. However, the outcome is never negative, and that is the important thing to remember. It is better to play respectful of your opponent even if you do not end up killing them, rather than to play incorrectly off of an assumption or a guess that results in a kill or positive outcome for you. More often than not, respectful play will save you from a foolish death than it would save the enemy from dying to you. Now, knowing what respect is and why it's important, I'm going to show you a few examples of how I respect my opponents in PvP. I'll show times where it saves me, times where a lack of respect could have gotten me killed, and times where an enemy escaped me because I respected their strengths, even though it was actually unlikely that they were going to play to them in that scenario. Oh, and one last thing, if this video helps you in any way, if you want to support me, the best way to do so is to like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel. It's free, and it really, really helps. Enjoy the video. In this situation, I am chasing down an a enemy bloodstalker, so he is entering the water, and he finds out that that is not going to save him. At this point, I am not really respecting too much because he's deep in the water, and I know that he can't pick me. The instant he starts to surface, I go up. Notice that. It's very important. He starts heading back to land. I don't need to respect him anymore. I'm backing away because he stopped. He was posturing as if he was going to pick. He has no walls and no water, so I don't need to be super respectful here. I move in. I'm chasing him. I can go fully aggressive here. And then he flies up to the wall, so I back off because he could have mounted on the wall and he would have been able to grab me. Then he goes down, he goes back up, I go in, I go back out, just like that. So we see him off in the distance, we're chasing him down, we're firing as much as we can. I don't, I kind of lose sight of him here, I spot him again, start blasting him. So we were losing our buff here, so we're doing less damage, so I'm getting my buff back up, which is really important. I grab it, I sort of lost him here, and then I spotted him, I went, I'll go after him. We're chasing him. I'm being very careful here because I don't know if he's stuck on a wall somewhere. And then he goes down. I go back up. I don't want to get picked. And then I see him going there. And then that's where the fight ends. I am not chasing him into that cave. And that is really important because if I chased him into that cave, I could have easily died. Also, just to add, very good on this guy's part. That's actually the smartest play he could have made going into that cave. It's also very possible that he would not have picked me if I went in there. It, co it totally could have happened. Respectful play does not entail making risks like that. This is what separates players who die frequently from players who almost never die. So in this scenario, I'm getting picked. My stalker is on neutral. He drops me, and his mistake here is that he hits me. He triggers my neutral stalker. He gets picked. And he dies. This was a really bad play by him because he knows that there's two reapers here and he knows they're set on neutral or aggressive or something because they're attacking the racer. He disrespected the shit out of me because he got really greedy to get that kill. So this is actually the reverse scenario. If I had been bad at the game, which is the assumption that he made, my stalker would have been on passive and he would have been able to get away. But he made an assumption that I'm bad at the game and he jumped in and Guess what? I'm not retarded. My stalker was on neutral, or it was an attack target. I think it was on neutral. So he hit me, triggered my stalker, made all of the reapers aggro, and he got picked.
in this fight, I don't even play it particularly well. But this is a scenario where somebody engages on me just without thinking. Why would you assume that I have less armor on my saddle than you do? It's very stupid of him. He assumed that I didn't have as much armor as he did, but he didn't have a capped saddle. You can see why this is a really stupid assumption to make, because he's assuming that I have le worse gear than him, and that ends up getting him frozen, and later, that health difference causes him to die. You can see here that he actually outright dies, the mana literally dies. He had every opportunity to run away, but he didn't. After he throws out this owl, and notice how when he's dismounted, I'm still respecting the fact that he could throw Z at me. I'm not just going to think that I have to kill in the bag, his team's gone. I'm still playing as if he could kill me, because it is possible. So in this fight, I'm looking to get a pick on the side of a cliff here. Uh, there's a lot of tech suitors and I am with my tribe in this clip. So this is an old clip. I see a guy and I, I try to go for the pick. So he has, he's the guy near the, the charging station. So I got to pick him. This is a really bad pick. Like he could have easily Z'd me. I actually get tech punched. That's not the thing that dismounts me. The thing that dismounts me is actually the tech punch. But the pick was bad, so... We're kind of in a stinky spot here. We're like really low down in the water with like eels and baryonyx and shit. My stalker picks the guy and he leaves me alone. But I didn't respect the fact that, there, you know, there's like other players here and I just kind of tunneled in on one guy. Pretty common thing to happen in big groups. Yeah, so I, I could have died here if these guys were playing a bit better. I could have definitely died, but I didn't. But it was not a good spot to be in. So that's just something to to know like a time I could have died if I had been more respectful I would have probably not been in this scenario in this fight here I've actually stolen these guys bloodstalker don't even ask why I'm on an ice wyvern I don't want to hear it so I just grab this this stalker off of them and my plan is to drop it in the volcano so I just drop that shit straight into the volcano he tries to pick it up, but I think he's realizing that Crystal Wyverns can't grab Bloodstalkers. So, the mistakes I make here don't start until a little bit later. So here, we're getting a bit of lag. I'm trying to see what he's doing. I, I'm trying to watch the Bloodstalker to make sure that it doesn't he doesn't whistle it out of the lava, but I think he's realizing that he's not going to be able to get it out. So instead, he goes up, and I think he needs stamina, so he's dismounting. And here I go for the pick, which was the right move. I missed it though, because I suck on wyverns. And you'll start to see where I start to disrespect him and where I start to lose this fight. As soon as he goes down here, he parks his wyvern. And this is when I think he's completely out of stamina. I grab him and I should have continued with him in my hands. I don't think he could have killed me. By the time I got him to the volcano, I could have easily dropped him in the lava. So here you'll see I'll dismount. I try to kill the wyvern. My plan is to equip my sword. I actually had my sword already equipped. So I try to equip it and I unequip it and I just start punching it. So I'm like, all right, fuck this. I get back on the wyvern. So this guy's got like a ton of weapons. This guy's got a compo. He's got a fab sniper. He's na he's like railing me really hard. I've got no armor and this is like just a regular ice wyvern, no imprint. And it's just not going, not going too well for me. I'm on fire. I'm getting shot by comp arrows. I'm getting shot by fab sniper bullets. I'm not really respecting him. I'm going for the ice breath instead of the pick, which I should be, I should have picked him right from the start. So I'm just basically getting absolutely lit up. Like, just getting destroyed here. I get fucking shredded right at the end. So I just start to dip. Uh, honestly, he had me dead to rights. I'm not sure how I even escaped this. I totally deserve to die here. He actually should have chased me on his wyvern. Because I can't even regen stamina. So here I do the 
the best option I have, which is to skybox. Because I know he's going to chase me and he is faster than me, so he will catch me. But you'll see, you see in that fight where I just make the wrong decisions and I was not respecting his weapons because I am on an unarmored team and I'm not imprinted to it, so his weapons are dealing a considerable amount of damage. So I ended up losing that fight. Even though I did come out with a net gain in terms of kills because I killed their Bloodstalker, I still, I say I definitely played that fight really poorly.